Have you ever wanted to learn a new language but you just didn't know where to start from? Or maybe you just didn't have the finances for it? Or maybe you just didn't have time for it? But what if I told you there's a three easy way to learn a new language? Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you three easy ways that I use to learn a new language. So currently I know five languages and there's a sixth one that I can understand while listening to. So I wanted to share how you could learn languages by yourself at home on your own pace and very easily. Let me tell you a little bit about my own experience so you would understand how my experience, my methods could help you as well. So I, in school, to be honest, I didn't like studying the language. Like I didn't like the school method of studying language because we were just studying grammars and it wasn't as fun and I wasn't like so into learning a language back then. But um, I started being interested in learning new languages once I started going out of school way of learning new languages but went into my own method of new learning new languages. So I was in languages for convenience rather than for oh to get a grade and i think that could be a motivation for you all as well so one example language would be korean i was so interested in korean dramas and korean it wasn't just dramas it was tv shows as well and the reason why i'm mentioning tv shows is dramas most of the time you can find it with subtitles but tv shows it's really hard to find them with english subtitles so i was like okay I'm watching something, I don't understand it, I want to understand it, so let's just learn the language. And that's how I learned Korean language. I learned it fully by myself. I can speak, write, read, and understand it. So I guess you guys could do it on your own as well. It's just uh, one, you have to have motivation for it. Two, you have to be diligent enough. And three, you have to have a specific goal. Like for me, Korean language, I learned to watch the dramas that I enjoyed. Now, let's get into the methods that I will tell you that will help you to learn it at home on your own pace and on your own convenience. First, as I mentioned about earlier about Korean language, you have to find a content that you enjoy and you have to immerse yourself with it. So if you're a book reader, you have to find, and let's be honest, these days you can easily find any book online um, in any language, basically. So you have to find, if you're a book lover, basically, you have to find a book in that language. If you're a TV show drama lover like me, you find uh, dramas, TV shows, and you start watching them. Let's say you don't like the content, like you don't like watching TV shows, and let's say you don't like even reading books. That's fine. Most of us like listening to music. So what you can do is find music, and while you're listening to music, make sure you're uh, paying more attention to the words used in music. So sometimes some of us, uh, we just listen to the melody, just ignore the words and so on. No, pay attention to the words and pay attention to what it's saying, repeat it. Uh, constantly like who doesn't like singing a song but okay if you don't like singing a song there are different methods as well it's just it just doesn't mean that oh only music textbook or tv show let's say you can definitely find a content or just a youtube video if you have been watching your youtube videos in english switch them to the language that you are learning and that way you will be able to constantly hear and basically get used to that language and that's how i learned korean language well first of all um, this first step is what i did instead of learning oh, words through like notes and like stick stickers or whatever i watched insane <laughs> amount of like dramas it was like back then when i first started learning the language in like one month i love binge watching so 
we have to make a note of that as well but i watch like uh more than 100 dramas probably it's easy with korean ones because they're kind of short they're only like 16 episodes and they don't really have seasons um uh, one season and that's it but i watched over like 100 korean dramas and i would even like watch the same drama over and over again and just immerse myself in it now after you do that that's where our second method comes in second method in second method you should practice conversation so how are you gonna do that if you don't have anyone around you that talks to you in a language that you're learning for example korean right how are you gonna practice your speech well there are different ways so let's say you're a person that likes to think out loud then while you're thinking while you're thinking out loud think in korean if you're learning korean basically if uh, you like pep talking yourself right do that in that language that you're learning if you could if you're okay with it go in front of a mirror which i would do as well i would talk by myself so much in korean it was like a lot uh but you should go ahead in front of a mirror and start talking to yourself as if you're talking to someone else or just talk to yourself that's okay as well and the more you talk the more you will get used to pronounce the pronunciation um you will get used to talking like fast see when you're learning a new language that's one of the things i stumble upon um is that you know the words you know the correct way to say stuff it's just it doesn't come up right at that moment you just for some reason you just cannot think of it why because you don't have the practice for it for example as the sixth language that i was talking about i can understand it when other people talk it's just i myself cannot talk like them and that's because i didn't speak in that language so much that it's hard for me to hold a proper conversation without being like uh mm, like pausing giving a lot of breaks not remembering the word although i know it so yeah and not only that if you're kind of like shy and if you are not learning a language or not practicing it with other people because you are shy then the greatest method is to do it with yourself to do it at home while you are like cooking if you enjoy like songs then memorize like a song in that language and just like sing it out loud while you're cooking while whatever you're doing well while whatever you're doing just sing it just speak like um you could even like go ahead and like recite or let's say you don't like uh tv music drama this that you don't like any of those right then just read you're reading just a book right and you don't want to talk to yourself in the mirror you're just like oh, am i crazy should i talk to myself which i don't believe is crazy but still let's say that's the case then go ahead and take a book and let's say you're a book lover right take a book and while you're reading a book read it out loud make sure you're saying those words and sentences and uh, reading the book fluently of course it's not gonna be easy from the beginning but slowly you're gonna slowly you're gonna see that oh i'm reading much faster see when we're reading inside of course we don't have that uh stumbles we don't have that pauses because we're not hearing ourselves that much but when we're reading out loud if we have a word that we cannot pronounce then we realize that and we're like oh wait um was it like this no and the third one well this is not gonna be a method specifically but it is consistency keep being consistent do not give up just because you didn't learn a language in one month doesn't mean that you won't be able to learn it in two months just because you're taking maybe a little more time than other people doesn't mean that you won't be able to do it at the end of the day. So make sure you're consistent and make sure that you're not giving it up. If you really, really want to learn this language, then put in effort. Check yourself, evaluate yourself and see if you have 
made any progress at all. If you haven't, then change your methods a little from listening, change to reading, writing, or speaking, doesn't matter. Change it up and see how and which method specifically works for you and incorporate that and work on, on that. So that was it for the video. Thank you for staying with me until now and thank you for listening to it. I really hope that whatever is your goal, you get to achieve it and whichever language you want to learn, you will learn it. And I hope that my methods do help you. And yeah, thank you for being with me. If you like my content, please like and subscribe. And I would love to know if you have used these methods that I just told you and if they are working for you or no. So if you if you did and if they worked for you, please leave a comment. Let me know. You can also tell about the methods that you are using so other people can see that and maybe that will be a good method for them as well. Anyways, thank you and see you again next time. Bye-bye.